In this vlog, we will see the usage of FlutLab in Flutter application development. So in our previous tutorials, we were using Android Studio for Flutter application development and this is also an option available for Flutter developers. So what are uh, the additional features is like whenever you are having a Windows system, then you cannot develop applications such as Apple based like iOS application on your Windows system, then you can make use of platform like FlatLab here so now let's get started and try to see so the very first page is showing like get started so now this is how the IDE look like and again for the beginners I am specifying what is an IDE integrated development environment so like Android Studio, Visual Code and Xcode these are the three major platforms we will be using for Flutter application development right so now let's get started and this FlutLab is available in three variants and we will be choosing the basic beginner one so that it will be easy and comfortable for everyone who is watching this particular tutorial so now this is the IDE now we have got and I even got the option like to edit the code and few more points I should specify to you before getting started you will be having some limited features so now let's try to see the features first because when you start implementing the code then you might not you might not wait for a day or two because we are starting with the starter plan here and also there are like premium and influential versions also available so let's get started with the starter plan and here it's like fully featured IDE and also there are no high performance builders here and that's okay for us and it's like 100 MB upload limit and 250 MB cloud storage is available and two collaborators can work in one project like two developers can work and it's like you can create two projects here and two sandboxes here so sandboxes in the sense staging version of application and here you can so this is the important feature now so you have only two iOS builds per day and two Android builds per day so whenever you try to build an application then you are only permitted to make it only two times per day so totally you have like four builds per day come like android and ios combination so whenever you are writing a code we are well aware like the output will be same for both android and ios so you can make use of both the android and ios builds which you have per day and like four builds i think it's a good option in the starter plan and two signed builds per day and you don't have flutlab git here like storing the code we make use of github right bitbucket so that kind of uh, support is not available in the free version and no git history so whenever you are writing a code in android studio you can find the git i mean history like a particular line of code written by which developer so that is also not available here and you don't have private github bitbucket gitlab option also here and you do have a desktop installer application and this will also be helpful for you and limited pro features so i think this is a good choice for a starter plan because we are not paying anything so these are sufficient for a developer to get started with so now let's try to create an account here and I have created my account with my existing Google account here and it is showing my basic project like hello world over here and now let's get into this particular project and this is our project now and now let's try to explore the directory here so hello world is our project name and we do have like Android iOS directories here and also a lib directory where our flutter code is available and here we do have an options like web android and ios so these are the available builds for us now and we can select any of the any of the option and try to find the output and also we do have like pubspec file here where we can specify our dependencies and also the configuration required for our project and also we do have like a test folder here where you can configure your unit test cases and here you can see this is our free account which is showing up here 
and this is again our account space where we can find the required details like about our workspace and all those things and here we do have like google services you can just connect to firebase connect to google maps depending upon your projects and also you can just download zip file of your project whenever you have completed your project or yes you want to continue with your own local id you can just download it from here and here it's like analyzer and these are like save tools so whenever you update something over here flood lab and here we do have like a save option now and i am going back to the dashboard so here it is showing the usage statistics here we have made use of one project and sandboxes we do have anything we don't have anything and storage we are using like 1.5 mb out of 250 available and now let's try to see the coding style here compared to our normal IDE that is like Android Studio. So let's try to write some code and check here. And you can see here we are getting so many suggestions. In our normal IDE, like we don't have these many suggestions, but here we are getting up with a lot of suggestions. And you need to be aware like which particular import you need to make use of so i have selected this one material dot dot here and let's try to specify void main and inside the void main let us try to specify run app and inside the run app let us try to specify our default class that is my app again and come back here and in our studio whenever we used to specify stateless we used to get the options there like status or stateful widget but we do have a different suggestions coming up over here so let us try to make use of flutter stateless widget here and specify my app and instead of a placeholder i would like to specify a center inside which i will be specifying a text widget now so this text widget will return me flood lab okay so this is what the code and also it is giving you an option like you can convert to asynchronous function or extract a widget so all these again options it is providing so for the alho world project we don't require any of this and now we are trying to build this particular project in ios here ios version and let's try to see what will be the output like so it may take some time it is showing like sit back and think about the changes you introduced you have a minute for meditation so basically in our local in our local system also it takes some time right to build the application so it's again the same over here but it's a bit faster than our local system and this particular environment will be very much helpful for the beginners so you might have so here we could see like build completed successfully so how this is helpful for the beginners is like you might not have a very good system with you and then it will be very much helpful if you start coding in flood lab kind of ids because they are providing a free edition also and also it's a bit faster than the normal computers which we basically use in the beginner state okay and here you can see it's showing like download get my ios simulator bundle and send an ios simulator bundle to your email so any of the options you can choose and also we do have a chart gpt integration here so you can make use of a chart gpt in flood lab here and try to code much more easily because you will be getting good suggestions from chart gpt it's like an so it's like an ai tool which helps you in writing the code in a much more efficient manner so if you are having a usage you can just configure it as well to your existing flood lab id and also you do have a chart support here i think you can just take some help from the available community over the flood lab chat here and also the flutter documentation so generally whenever you are having any queries you do google for the flutter documentation right so it is also been provided here as an add-on option here so these three options are available over here 
and you do have an options like downloading the project here and also integrating google services here you can just connect to firebase connect to google maps over here and also you have like restart analyzer main menu here like these are general options available for ide here and go back to workspace and again the log cat and also you can find the logs over here in the output section and git history and this is again for the premier customers yes so this is for the premier tool again and you can add the commands here so whenever you add a dependency in pub spec file here you can just tap on pub add here pub get run outdated search so all these are being available as a buttons over here and again this is an analyzer and this is like test cases so whenever you are making use of a test cases you need to add test cases in this particular folder so in this so in this tutorials i have even explained you how to write a test cases in flutter application so just go through it and try to add unit test cases for your flutter application and also we have performed widget testing also in flutter so you can just explore them and this is also again a premium option i'm just showing you use flutlab git so this is a premier commit option and these are the settings again now we do have like app signing in key stores here you can create some key stores or you can upload the existing key store here such that whenever you are generating the application you can make use of them and app signing here for google play and builder we do have like ios debug option and also all the variants available here vcs this is like version control system again and devices flutlab installer and here we do have like an option like flutlab installer here and how we can use it is like you need to download this particular file here so whenever you are dealing with an uh, application and when you want to test it on a real time device you need to install it on your device and you need to in, in uninstall the previous version and all this work you do generally right because until you update the version then you cannot override the current installation and this is not with the debug variant i am saying and here you need to install the flood flood lab application here which is available in this particular link so you can just open this particular link and you can download it for your desktop app or for your mobile applications and then you need to sign up here and you can find your devices over here and try to run on those devices and you can try to run the code on those devices here here you can see we have got an option like back to and press the build button and when you press the build button your build will start and create an apk and when the build is finished i mean the will when the build get finished it will automatically push the apks to all the selected devices so here you will be adding all the devices right so the build will be pushed to all those devices and there you can try to run your code and check the output as well but i suggest you to make use of flutlab over here and also in our coming tutorials we will be making use of flutlab and also try to generate the code from the designs so that was a major aspect which i am going to deal in next coming tutorials and also there is a youtube video available here by flutlab team like how to install the application on your device and how to configure it to your id that again this is an online id here so you can find your devices over here and then try to whenever you add devices then you can clearly see those devices available here and when you tap on it and try to run the application then the builds will be pushed to your devices so this is the basic information which i want to provide regarding the flood lab most of you are might aware of this particular tool but for the beginners this is a very good option available for you and so this is it for this particular tutorial and if you are having any queries just let me know in the comment section below and in our coming tutorials we will be making use of flood lab to generate a code from the design so stay subscribed for more interesting updates coming up on flutter